Hello, my name is Don. I will be leading you through this short agri-stability tutorial on purchased inputs, Schedule 1C. If you'd like, you can go online at this address and follow along in the Supplementary Forms Guide for 2020. First, we'll give you a couple of tips before you start filling out your Schedule 1C. Please ensure your purchase inputs for the end of 2019 matches your purchased inputs for the start of 2020. If they do not, please tell us why in the file. Only fill out Schedule 1C if you report to CRA on a cash basis. This schedule will ensure that only allowable expenses relating to the program year are considered. This schedule must be completed for inputs such as prepared feed, fertilizer and chemicals that are purchased but benefit a different production year. Remember, this is a list of the dollar value of the purchased inputs that you have carried over, not the bushels or tons. Now we'll start filling out the form. Please note in this example, Farmer Joe has a December 31st 2020 taxation year end. Using our tips as a guideline, this is a list of purchased inputs that Farmer Joe has come up with. Now, how do we enter the information that Farmer Joe has given us on his purchase inputs into Schedule 1C? It does not matter if Farmer Joe fall applied the fertilizer or stored it in a bin, it is a purchased input. In this example, Farmer Joe fall applied $25,000 worth of fertilizer in October of 2019 to produce the 2020 crop. And in the fall of 2020, Farmer Joe applied $20,000 of fertilizer to produce the 2021 crop. To help you follow along, we will put Joe's information on the bottom and show you where to enter it on the top. The $25,000 of fertilizer that was applied in October of 2019 to produce the 2020 crop goes under the, under the column program year starting inventory. And the $20,000 of fall applied fertilizer in October of 2020 that was used to produce the 2021 crop goes under the column program year ending inventory. Going back to Joe's notes, he purchased and paid for $10,000 of fuel in December of 2019 and used that to produce the 2020 crop. Farmer Joe also purchased and paid for $5,000 of fuel in December of 2020 and used that to produce the 2021 crop. First, we enter fuel under the description column. The $10,000 that Farmer Joe purchased and paid for in December of 2019 and used to produce the 2020 crop goes under the first column program year starting inventory. And the $5,000 worth of fuel that was purchased and paid for in December of 2020 but was used to produce the 2021 crop we put under the column program year ending inventory. Now we just add up the totals and double check. If you have any other questions on Schedule 1C, please do not hesitate to give us a call at 1-877-899-2372. We hope you found what you needed to know in that tutorial, and we welcome you to go back to any of the other tutorials on filling out your supplemental forms.